Greetings, friends. So you may have been here a while back when we did a sugar-free challenge. And the idea with that one was not to put added sugar into your diet for, I think we recommended two weeks or something like that, but you know, different for every person. But today we have a slightly different challenge. This one has more power to reshape our taste buds. And <clears throat> to annoy you. To annoy you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> but we're going to do it anyway because we know you do not mind being annoyed. And you take it as a personal challenge. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> probably why you watch these videos. <laughs> so, this is about sweetness. Again, before we are looking at actually the sugar that we are putting into our, our diet and trying to just notice where there's corn syrup, uh, any of the other... Oh yeah, cane sugar, blah, 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 blah. all the different yeah. syrup, all that, <laughs> all that stuff. Pulling that out of your diet, but we were still eating sweet things, fruit, berries, uh, even artificial sweeteners for some people they wanted to include. <clears throat> this is different. This is no sweetness. Uh, so anything that's sweet, we're talking about the flavor of sweet that we, I, in my personal opinion, have become so accustomed to in our culture that we don't even realize how sweet most things are. And of course that keeps getting amped up and amped up with every generation until nowadays you can take something and if you have been off of sweet for a while, you can barely eat it. It's so strong. So we're talking about no fruit, no dried fruit, no sweet vegetables, like carrots are very sweet. No, obviously honey, maple sugar, no artificial sweeteners. We're trying to get rid of sweet, of the flavor sweet, for two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, you can muscle through one week, but two weeks is harder. And it's not going to be forever. You don't have to do it forever, but aren't you curious about how life is when you aren't so inundated with sweet? And the surprising thing is, is that there's sweet in a lot of other things. We just can't taste it anymore. Most of our forest monks, when they come here, they do a two-week cleanse diet and we remove sweet things. At the end of that, when people eat a carrot, they're often amazed at how sweet it is. A blueberry, oh, this is not about making the taste sweet be a bad thing. That's not what we're saying. What we are saying is that sweet has become such a go-to flavor that we're just saturated with it. We can't even taste it anymore. It's a super pleasant flavor. And this two weeks awakens our taste buds to sweetness again so that we can enjoy it in a different way. The side benefit being that when you find a carrot or a blueberry to be extremely sweet, you're probably gonna find that a lot of the uh, sweet and processed foods that we have, like you said, they're just sickly sweet. They are not good at all. Candy, some of your go-to's like low percentage chocolate or I don't know any of that kind of junk might not taste good to you anymore. Sweetened cereals, that's another one that a lot of people eat. I think the thing <laughs> is that with the sweet it becomes a one-sided flavor that we're so accustomed to that we don't realize that there's other flavors in the world, you know, they're salty and they're slightly bitter and there's umami which is rich and, and, and delicious and just sweet, when it's so sweet, it's all it is. It's like somebody just holding up a big white blanket with the light blaring off of it and you go, don't get any of the subtlety of the other flavors that are in foods. I was talking with the forest monks the other day and they were, they were saying that uh, they had read some things or heard some things that, you know, our, our food companies have these extremely well-educated, intelligent people that they are paying a lot of money to, to design these foods specifically to be addictive. And that sweet flavor is one of their biggest tools. So this also tends to free us 
mm. from some of that manipulation, that marketing manipulation that's going on. It's, it's super liberating in so many ways. It makes your life enjoyable, it increases your health, and frees you from that manipulation. Yeah. So, how do we do it? Oh, how do we do it? Yeah. <laughs> well, so, you might have even heard in some places that sugar is as addictive as heroin. Certainly it's as addictive as social media. The two are kind of the same. Sugar, social media. <laughs> so, it can help to think, I'm going to distance myself from something that I know has power and control over the culture, maybe it's not that big of a deal for you. Maybe you're already kind of more adapted to tastes and things. It's still interesting to do none at all. Um, so make the commitment. Maybe tell a couple people about it so you have accountability or, yes. right? or use your social media and say, hey friends, guess what I'm doing for the next two weeks? Get your family on board. Here's the fun part of it though. The fun part is try some new foods yeah and try your old <laughs> foods with the new glasses so that you get a sense of oh what does this actually taste like what is broccoli fresh steamed broccoli with a little you know tiny drizzle of of olive oil and sea salt what does that taste like so try new foods and try your old foods again in a different way and give it the two weeks realize that if you drink your coffee, let's say, with a whole bunch of uh, sugar in it, the first time you go without the sugar, don't <laughs> expect it to be <laughs> what you're expecting. Imagine you're going to a different culture, mm -hmm. you're going to taste a whole bunch of new foods for the first time, and that first time you have your coffee just with cream or just black, what is that like? If it's green tea, you know, without the sweetener, what does it taste like? You're going to start to notice nuances of flavor that weren't there before. But remember that at first, there's going to be that, where's my sweet? And that might last for that first week or so. Hopefully in the second week, you're going to start picking up on new flavors. And this is going to become pretty fun. No, it doesn't mean that you can't go back to adding sweet. In fact, it's fun to try as you add things in. Hmm, is this sweet? What does this taste like? slice of apple holy moly that's sweet wow do you have to give it up no but do you need to eat four apples a day maybe you want to add some variety maybe you want to put that carrot stick in there because the carrot stick is really sweet peppermint tea is super sweet there's lots of things that have sweetness and you start to as you add those things back in get to really appreciate them and i think that that maybe is something that we lack uh, as a culture is a very intentionally way I'm not saying this right but you know what I mean you savor your food yeah. and a lot of times especially with the sugar it's easy eat it eat it eat it eat it so that's kind of part two of the no sweet is to get back into being intentional with what you're eating the final thing to say about this is you're gonna have to decide what those sweet things are for you there's there's no concise list here of what you should or shouldn't eat. But, but notice the things that taste sweet to you and just set those out. There's some no-brainers, but in general, you know, you're, you're getting rid of some really good foods for you, like berries and things, for this two weeks. So remember, this is just temporary. This is not a healthy diet, right? But berries, fruits, of course, any added sugars, adding that sweetness or that artificial sweetener, stevia, any of that stuff. Mix that out, see what it's like. Tell us yeah. in the comments if you're going to do it and you know announcing it publicly will help you to hold to it. And then, just as important, share your journey. At one week, let us know how it's going. At the end of two weeks, and then at the end of three weeks, after you have gone back to eating sweet things, you've added some of those sweet things into your diet, what have you noticed? Cannot wait to hear. Thanks for watching, friends. Talk with you soon.